Very good. Okay. And we will be ready for the show in moments. I'll let you know. Okay, very good. All right, chat room here. Okay, chicken head, thank you. Salty corn bar. So Magoo, is uh, that that a dog cafe that opened on 80th and, and Columbus? I'll have to check it out. I have a question. Do you know of a mosquito repellent gadget? <laughs> Oh, Mandy said, not one that, a oh, repellent gadget. You know, I, I had good luck with, uh, oh, oh, it's a little thing you burn like a, it, it it's, it's kind of expensive. It's like 30 bucks to buy the thing, and it comes with a little cylinder of propane, and then it heats a pad that has repellent on it wait a second someone's saying candles work quite well uh, you know i i just got into spraying myself with uh, cutter c-u-t-t-e-r because i'm like lisa then it doesn't have no one has to worry about if i go out in the backyard they are they have their target uh, empty pockets. I started sleeping in the fireplace. <laughs> uh, chat room. If you if uh, if you're not if you don't have the chat room up, empty pocket said I've started sleeping in the fireplace, and now I sleep like a log, and ah, is making ah, a total ash of himself. Ah. <laughs> hey, Roberto. Um, I had one of the earliest hand fans with folding blades. Oh, my God. World's Fair 1965. Oh, and Dennis likes to always tell the joke about uh, at a bazaar, a guy buys one of those paper fans and goes back to the place and says, this paper fan does nothing. And the person said, for a dollar, you hold the fan straight up and you move your head back and forth. Handheld fan from Amazon. Yeah. A great handheld fan. Powered, right? Oh, Karu. I know I have your pr 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 proper pronunciation somewhere. I have two different USB fans. Pop, okay. Pop, oh, is that pop, you, said Jim Levine? Pop, proper pronunciation? Pop, proper yes. pronunciation? Pop, 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 pop. Oh, my papa. Okay. Um, I should put my headphones on. Wait a minute. I don't hear anything. Okay. I should turn the, turn the volume up in my headphones so actually they do something. Okay. Now I hear myself. You ready, Dick, to do this fist show? I am ready, ready, oh, ready. Now, now you're way too loud. Turn my headphones up too loud. Oh, you're too loud. <laughs> okay. So I think this is Saturday, and I think this is May. No, June. This is June. June. And it's over here on my computer. It says 6-4. So June 4th, Saturday, June 4th. And I look at Beatmaster's lovely spreadsheet, spreadsheet where he keeps track of all the Giz Fizz things. And that spreadsheet tells me it's episode 479. So, I think I should slate this show by saying, oh, by the way, we are on the stream and the recordings are running. Those are important things for me to say. But the rest of the stuff I'm going to say is, this is Gizfiz number 479, recorded on Saturday, June 4th, 2022, and it begins in three, two. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to... It's the Giz Fizz with the Giz Whiz. It's kind of like Cheese Whiz. It's the Giz Fizz. And now your host, Matt Mattis Ryder and the Giz Whiz, Dick DiBartolo. Welcome to regular old-fashioned Giz Fizz. With the double harp ladies are here and in tune. So we're going to have first, let's go down the line and pick one of these people to be chat room celebrity of the week. Oh, <laughs> cricket number four. 
All right, so there is no chat room celebrity of the week. However, it brings up a thought. I totally forgot about this. When I used to work on What's My Line, you know, match game would be, would sometimes take off for the summer. Gene would go up to uh, his house in Cape Cod. Um, and then I would just go to pick another show and work on that for the summer. And I worked for a while on What's My Line. And there was a, there was a problem game shows have where it, you can't introduce a guest too far into the show because the show's going to end soon. But it's almost a little too much time to just let the panel chat with each other. So uh, Gil Fates, who is producer of What's My Line, came up with this very quickie game. That And you know, people who watch reruns of What's My Line, tell me if this has ever appeared on any of the shows that you've seen. At the very end of the show, the host would say, we have a few minutes here. We're going to play a quickie. And, and I forgot what we called it. But basically, I would go up and down the line and, and just say to people, uh, as, as I walk by you, can you just say your occupation? And they would say what it is, bookseller, whatever. And I would give a quick look at them to think... Do they look like this? And we would pick four people out. And then the cue card guy would make four signs. All it had was their occupations on them. And then if we had that three-minute or two-minute gap at the end of the show, these four people would come out, each holding a sign. And then the celebrities would have 30 seconds to run out and rearrange the signs uh, until they, and then say, it, it, are these the, the proper occupations? Uh, so it was great fun. Also, it's a great way for me to get all my friends on. Because <laughs> if you were coming to see the show, I would say, well, you know, what do what, what you do again? What did you do in the past? Oh, you did that? Well, that's good. Um, so, but that was, Bill Gates was ingenious. I remember one time we had a motorcycle daredevil on. And... Someone came into the control room and said, Gil, the stagehand just unpacked that big crate. <laughs> this motorcycle daredevil, this looks like a bike that a kid would have on the street. It, it's nothing impressive. And Gil goes, uh, let's see. Oh, okay. Tell Gary to say, and now let's see that masterpiece of machinery that let this man do those feats, open the curtain. He said, and then the audience will, they'll be like a big, oh my God, look at how tiny that is. And, and I thought, this, this guy is great. What a way to just solve problems on the run. So that was backstage at What's My Line. Uh, okay, we're going to do photos from George Davis. We're going to do... A snappy answer to a stupid question. We're going to play uh, Guinness World Records Funky Foods. And we're going to have some commercials. And possibly a what the heck is it that I used on the Gizwiz. That's kind of fun. Okay. Photo number one. Wow. This is one long ornate hallway okay one super long ornate white hallway and it can be whatever you want it it can lead to where, wherever you want or be whatever you want uh, let's see <laughs> Disneyland's West Wing whose turn is it to dust uh, the trip to the door is one long hall. Uh, entrance to Disneyland Warehouse. Where's my new shed? My, <clears throat> my new apartment is huge. Who stole the furniture? Another gallon of paint here. I knew we shouldn't have had beans for lunch. Looks like the palace at Versailles. No fallen arches here. Uh, family chicken coop. Stone temple pilots. Return of the Godfather. Yeah, you're going to have to mop this hall. 
Uh, Myra Joyce Storage Chamber. This needs to be painted now for a tour at 2 p.m. Uh, which way is the men's room? Who forgot the lighting? Oh, very funny. Martron, Michelangelo's practice ceiling. Hallway to the president's office. Oh, there is a light at the end of the tunnel, declare. Staircase going down, minus stairs. Can you hear me now, 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 now? Uh, COVID proof, drive up window is crazy. In case you need to go to the bathroom, start early. Vatican is going minimalist. Minimalist. Is this Hogwarts? Where's the artwork? <laughs> and we'll end with the corridors to the Steve Jobs Theater. Okay. Uh, George Davis said, for the uh, long white gallery, my caption is, wouldn't you have thought someone would have suggested adding a little color here and there? Too bland looking. Okay, no one suggested color, strangely. Um, okay, photo two. Wow. A vast sea of tulips. Did somebody mention color? <laughs> That's right, yes. Get these tulips and put them in that hall of photo one. A garden with colorful tulips. Oh, redacted said, put some of those in photo one. Uh, oh, Mr. Dave said, this is a great place to tiptoe. Excellent. <laughs> Two lips. Try 200 lips. I see salads. Wow, Dolby Vision is great. Two lips are better than one. Skittle petals. Died and went to Holland. Needs Tiny Tim. Read my two lips, I have allergies, I feel sleepy. This is what's at the end of that long hallway. <laughs> uh, this is what's outside the colorless temple. Uh, Tiptoe through the tulips. Poppies will make them sleep. Time to mow the backyard. No, you don't mow these, pal. Uh, here's the color George wanted, spring is sprung with tulips. Reminds me of on the way to Oz. Tiny Tim was there. These would brighten the corridor. I'm getting rich on tulip bulbs. Watch out for rattlesnakes. The rattlesnakes like tulips. Uh, honeybee pawn. Tulips in the daffodils. Oh, there, oh, there are some daffodils. I guess there are. Um, will the tulips kiss me? No bees, no problem. Tulips, more like five. Bolo for Tiny Tim. Bee bait. Two lips. That beat is one. I missed my Kodachrome. And we'll end with Dwindle. This place stinks like a funeral home. Okay. <clears throat> George says, for the beautiful garden uh, full of flowers. I have an idea, Mary. Let's give some of those red and yellow flowers to the gallery next door. Oh, okay. So you got a lot of matches. Oh, photo three. No, I never smelled the tulip. Wow. I never smelled photo a funeral three. home. <laughs> um, it looks like a brick, small brick structure in the middle of nowhere. It's whatever you want, a small stone-built structure. In the middle of nowhere. Uh, uh, okay. The good and the bad. The good, the bad, and the desolate shack. Vegas, <laughs> Vegas's first motel room, says Chicken Head. Uh, jailhouse in the ghost town. Charlie's dog house. Original tiny house. Twit outhouse. House in the middle of nowhere. That's funny. Um, people who live in stone houses shouldn't throw glass. New minimalist, minimalist condo in New York. Uh, complete with soul in New Mexican castle. Hey, that's my apartment. House in the middle of nowhere. Original Pony Express way station. Come in for your roasted tulip bulbs. 
three uh, three hundred thousand in L.A. Tombstone Motel. <laughs> D. Class says modern refueling station. Now that the gas pumps are out, a snip for five million. Three million just outside of L.A. High-end outhouse in old Tucson. Little vacation. Oh, they're going so fast. It's a brick house. Build it and they will come. At least it has more color than number one. And Rintero will end with, my house doesn't have a closet. It is a closet. Uh, so George thought this was something different. Uh, George described the photo as a small Bus Depot out in nowhere. Uh, for the small bus depot out in nowhere, my caption is, because we only get one bus a day, we decided not to put in a soda machine that would cost more to operate than what we would sell. Okay, photo four. Yeah, photo four. I don't even know how to describe this. <laughs> Let me before, see. Be, before you before you give George's answer, let's see if anybody in the chat room knows what it is. Oh, okay, chat room. Yes, before I look at what George See? Um, oh, Tech Dino got it right away. Oh, you knew what it was, Jamma B? Oh, I did not know, but uh Tech, Oh, okay. Tech Dino yes, did. he did, yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh George describes it as photo of a Dorian fruit. Up close. Uh, chestnut, prickly pear, jackfruit. It's not ear pods. <laughs> They're broken. It looked like broken ear pods. Something spiky. Dorian. Man, I have been wanting to taste that fruit. Oh, God, not me. World's worst deviled egg. Porcupine egg. Mr. Dave said, I can smell it from here. Loke says, worst smelling fruit ever. Ever is that for real? Don't steal my fruit. It's my jackfruit. Oh God, tastes like strawberries from a toilet bowl. Oh my God. Um, cross section of Bart Simpson's brain. Tulips from hell. Once you get past the spikes, it tastes terrible. <laughs> That's very fun. Careful, you could choke on that. <clears throat> Where's the charging port? Passion fruit with edgy aftertaste. Uh, friendly Manitoba said, Dad made us kids toss this around. I guess Dad hated us. Uh, here's a fruit no one steps on. Fruits answered to the porcupine. I have a question. How would you know that? COVID fruit. Smells bad, tastes good. They don't allow in elevators. They don't allow it in elevators in some countries. Porcupine apple. Close up of earwork egg. Look, says, they say it tastes good. Chris S. says it's a new variant of COVID. Punk rock fruit. Wait till you taste the Jill fruit. Oh, this is jackfruit. Spikes on the outside should have been my first warning. Anyone see the movie Alien? And we'll end with Titus says, reminds me of sea urchins when I scuba, di scuba dived. Uh, George said, for the close-up of the Dorian fruit, my caption is, even flies don't land on this fruit because it smells so bad. It smells like rotting meat turpentine and old gym socks <laughs> i apologize to those who are about to have a late lunch oh my god what are they indigenous to like i i've never seen that i would say in the tri-state area i've never seen it in new york new jersey or connecticut is it like a Californian thing? Or I the don't desert? think so. No. Oh, Philippines. Southeast Asia. Oh, okay. So that's why we don't see them. Uh, all right. Once again, we accidentally learned something on this show. 
Uh, photo five uh, is just a Titleist golf ball next to the hole. Close up of a golf ball right next to the hole. Oh, this is good. Missed it by that much. They're found on Darwin Island, living on the edge. So close, so far. <laughs> Bill says, well, we're waiting for that earthquake. Missed it by that much. Gimme, gimme, gimme. My every putt that close. Another missed by that much. Blow on it, just golfing around. Careful, it might fall in. Hole in two. Waiting for lucky wind gust. Rufus asks, can I blow on it? Everybody jump, jump. Uh, Titleist Doran fruit without spikes. I thought it was a stop sign. Oh, that's very funny. Uh, where's the windmill? Missed. Come on, wind blow. New magnetized ball. No way I'm going to go in there with that gopher, said the golf ball. Four, I should have yelled two, if I could just touch it. Smell a door in, could put it in the hole. Wait, it's supposed to go in the hole? <laughs> Twisted Mr. said, wow, it popped out. That's very funny. Ma, I don't want to go in. If I miss this shot, I'll be left off the golf course. Anybody looking? I'll just tap it in. Oh, this is very good. But Char says, quick, give me your pocket fan. Um, I ran out of juice. You have cute dimples. Not going to make me go in. And we'll end with Chris. Gravity is not my friend. Uh, George said, for the golf ball sitting on the green... Next to an open hole, my caption is, this is as close as I ever got to a hole in one. Okay, photo six, our final photo. Uh, we know this city, right? Well, okay, George named names. Okay. Photo six of six, Greece. Oh, I'm sorry. If you're just listening, it is apartment houses, stacks of them built one next to the other up in the mountains. Apartment houses built one next to the other. So it's really crowded. There's... No streets. It's just houses. I don't know how you I don't know how you get out of your house. Yeah, not a lot of parking. No. A lot of falling, but no parking. <laughs> uh I want to live there on top. On the side of a cliff. Time to add another layer. Talk about living on the edge. This city was built on rock, no roll. Brochure says private beach. We built the city on cliffs and hillsides. In a metric society, you don't have yards. Uh-uh. I need my sofa deceived by chopper. Tsunami waves do not reach the top floor. We need that ocean view. Close quarter living. Italian high rise. Mamma mia. Miss one step here and it's all downhill. Log said you have to exit through your neighbor's window. Mediterranean Beverly Hills. Oops, we forgot to build sidewalks, says Gumby. Uh, next hurricane, we're all toast. I got nothing. This is madness. You should see the rope ladder to get in. Where's the outhouse? Uh, great puzzle photo. Not good for sleepwalkers. You have to hike to get to your apartment. Coastal erosion has finally reached us. One shake and there goes the whole neighborhood. And we'll end with, I turned my back for a second. Damn spectators. Oh, speculators. Uh, that is a weird place. Um, 
George said, for Oceanside Hill Apartments, my caption is, most of us residences have a great view of the ocean, an abundance of fresh air, but a hard time painting the place. Okay, and fun facts. Yes. Before settling on the names as we know them, uh, before settling on the names of the seven dwarfs as we know them, Walt Disney considered these names. Can this possibly, this sounds like it should be a true or false. Uh, Walt Disney considered Chesty, Tubby, Bumpy, Deffy, Hickey, Wheezy, and Awful. That is weird. Um, oh, you know, we can do this as a as a as a fact of crap. Let me just make it into a fact of crap. Russian cosmonauts carried shotguns to protect them if they had to land in Siberia. True or false? Fact or crap? Russian cosmonauts carried shotguns in order to protect themselves if they landed in Siberia. Crap, crap, crap. Wow, very light on fact. Factish. Fact, they carried that and a lot of vodka. Uh, it is indeed a fact. Wow. I was not believing well, it. Neither me either. I mean, isn't Siberia just a desert? Yeah, and isn't that where they land anyway? It's frozen. Yeah, but so yeah. what there would it... And, 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 you know, they... I don't even know if they can open their, their hatch. The people have to come, you know, assist them. So there'd be people around. Maybe it's Oh, yeah, the, you're it's right. For the you're people. Right. <laughs> right, maybe they have the shotgun to blow the door off. And, and, and they're always oh, okay. so concerned Here's about the... weight on uh, spaceships, you know? Oh, you you're right. extra weight, so... Right. You don't put... St but if they say fact... Then uh, those Russian people, they're different. Okay, here's another great fact of crap. Compliments of uh, George Davis. Bella Lugosi was buried in full Dracula costume. Fact or crap? Bella Lugosi was buried in in full Dracula costume. <laughs> oh, we're getting a lot of false. He's buried in the coffin. No, he's buried in a cemetery. Fact, fact. Another, no, he's buried in a coffin. I don't know. Bella Lugosi, I, I always never think of being a prankster. Yeah, it seems pretty irrelevant. Ir irrelevant. Uh, <laughs> Irreverent. Haw Hawks both said he died from mistake in his heart. Um, oh, another one. JMS said, it's a fact. And he died with a mistake in his heart. Crap, he's buried in Frankenstein's lab coat. <laughs> Didn't he die making an Ed Wood movie? Yeah, he died. Yeah, he died during the, the Ed Wood movie. Planet um, Nine from Outer Space. Oh, Planet Nine from Outer Space. Stupid, stupid people. Um, oh, it's a fact. John, oh, yes, Johnny Depp played Ed Wood. Bill Lugosi was indeed buried in full costume as Dracula. All right, the final one. Neil Armstrong's application 
to become an astronaut arrived one week too late, but a friend noticed it and slipped it in with other applications. Well, it slipped it in with their application. True or false? Neil Armstrong's application to become an astronaut arrived a week late, but a friend noticed it and slipped it in with their application. Sounds true, sounds true. False, false. That's cheating. Fact, fact, true. Most probably true. <laughs> probably true. Doesn't have quite the conviction that we're looking for. A small step for man. It's so complicated, it must be a fact, says Ranger Rick. One small application for mankind. <laughs> That's a fact, Jack. You can't make this stuff up. Or maybe you can. <laughs> uh, what's your take? I, it's, True. I, because it's so weird, I'm going to say fact. Fact, Myra? Fact. Fact, fact. It is a fact. Yay. If it was UPS doing the delivery, then true, says PDP11. Uh, okay, da da. Want to do some logo? Thank you, George. Oh, George, wait. Oh, hold, hold on, hold on. Let's, let's go back to picture number six. Okay. Remember this picture six? I found something. Oh. Oh, There's oh a, my God. The place has a name. I think. Sonique Terror or something like that. <laughs> Unique Terror is how that what that translates to. Wow. Oh, there it is. Rio Mag Magaggiore. Mag Rio Magaggiore. I think that's the place. Oh yeah. Look at that. Well, isn't that interesting? All right, back back to whatever's next. No, that was good. That was good. Uh, okay, we're going to do, oh, things to do with islands. Things uh, to do with islands. You can go to them, you can leave them, and you can <laughs> swim while you're there. Oh, this is so freaking easy. A craft dressing. A craft dressing. Don't speak out loud. Uh, uh, uh. You know, you and me are the only ones who can actually speak out loud. Oh, that's right. So I guess you were saying to me not to answer. I guess. Hey, I no, understand. I was saying I understand. to Myra and Dennis when he's here. Ah, oh, those guys. Who yeah, don't, sometimes yeah. they say the answers. They don't have their own microphones. Uh, it is indeed. Yeah, what island is Miracle Whip? Whip. <laughs> <laughs> it is Thousand Islands. That indeed is it. Oh. In Brooklyn, where the Frankfurter Eating Contest is held. Well, maybe people in foreign lands don't know. Manhattan okay. Island. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it is, oh my gosh. Bill Gaines, publisher of MED. Nathan's Hot Dogs. We went. <laughs> we went to a party at John Ficarra's house. The editor made a barbecue, an all-day barbecue. It was lunch, and then we played cards and goofed around, and then a dinner. And Bill drove Dennis and I and Annie, um, and I think Lenny Brenner, the art director, was there. And Bill said. We're going a little roundabout home because we're going to stop by Nathan's for Frankfurter. He wasn't kidding. He wasn't kidding. I just have to go up to the grocery store and they have them. I have Nathan's? Oh, okay. Well, oh, we went yeah. to the real Nathan's. Um, yeah, well, the grocery store doesn't cook them. You know, you got to cook them yourself. I expect where you Oh, get, oh, 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 yeah, buy them in a package. Put them in oh, buns okay. and. Yeah. Yeah, no, we're going to have those for, di for dinner. Does Costco? What fashion? I think maybe Costco. And Costco's famous for their hot dogs. I think they may use Nathan's also. 
what fashion lifestyle brand named After Islands has a store in Yankee Stadium? What fra fashion brand named after a group of islands has a restaurant in Yankee <laughs> Stadium? <laughs> Fantasy Island? Uh, do you know? Oh, Myra's, Ma Myra's typing her. Uh-uh. Uh-uh-uh. Oh, yeah. Doing well. Yeah. <laughs> Galoob Acapelio shorts and shirts. <laughs> That's very funny. Jamma B, you know? I don't know. Zanzibar Fashion. anything to do with flashing? Zanzibar? No, it is. The brand. A lot of people have it. Tommy Bahama. Uh, which brings me to my shirt, which I was unpacking something. The company is called Thumbs Up. And I guess I bought it. I, was, I guess I was going to wear it for the travel spot on ABC. And somehow it ended up in a box. And I just found it. It's kind of fun. Oh, I'm it's very nice. Sure what, <laughs> what flowers have to do with cars, but it's kind of picturesque. Uh, um, thank you, Loke. Look at the car. Uh, uh, okay, is that the end of this card? Oh, okay. Uh, this one, this one is caught as quite roundabout. Okay, there's a lot of ladies' names. Uh, all right. Put a nut in front of one of these names to get a coconutty candy bar. Put a nut in front of one of these names to get a coconutty candy bar. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> it's the name of a nut. I was I was putting the word nut in front of those. I said, is there, oh. <laughs> is there a, I think Nut Betty, right? Nut Betty, that's something. Nut, yeah. Oh, yeah. Someone said a nut. How about Jamma B? Uh, uh, uh. It is indeed. Very good, chat room. Uh, add one of these girls' names to come up with a restaurant chain. Add one of these girls' names... To come up with a restaurant chain. This is kind of a fun card, actually. Myra? Um, Wendy's? <laughs> um, <laughs> Myra, Myra guess I hop. <laughs> uh, Jamie B, any guess? I, I, I only, you know, the chat room clued me in. So, let's and, and what do you think they well, said? Uh, you know, uh, Wendy's was obvious, but the thing said add the name. So you got to add the name to something. I think Olive Garden. That is correct. Add a name. Thank you, chat room. Add a name. Uh, uh, um. Oh, which one of these is also spray in a can? <laughs> which one of these is also spray in a can? <laughs> Olive oil. That's very funny. Uh... Uh, uh, uh. Why do I, I oh, oh, you. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, oh, it 
There's no cool whips here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool whip. Jarrah, Jammer B. What? You have no answer? No, Myra has no answer. Jammer B. Yeah, it's a product I use occasionally. Pam. Pam it is. Okay, oh, did we do them all? I didn't hear a Betty. Oh, okay. One of these people... Is the founder of Mrs. Fields. I did not know that. One of these women's first names huh. is the founder. Uh, uh, uh. Jamaica Fields. <laughs> Some people know. It used to be Mr. Fields. Who is left? <laughs> says Loke. One of these did Dallas. Oh, that's very funny. <laughs> Bouncing Betty Fields. Okay, it is. Wow, Debbie was the founder of Mrs. Fields? Deborah Fields. Chat room. I mean, why not? She's got to have a no, first name. So That's true. As good a first That's name true. as any. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. Okay. All right. All right. We're going to do a, I'm not saying you're stupid. Oh, my goodness. This is fascinating. What percentage of the, popul the population of India Vegetarian. Ah. What percentage of the population of India, wow, is vegetarian? Wow, I think it's got to be high. Mmm. Whoa. I know. Is there a McDonald's in India? All right. I got mine. Let me look. Oh, the chat room's going, wait, what? No, people are going pretty high. All right. Jamma B, what's your answer? I'm with Lawn Dog. I'm saying 30%. 30? Oh, my God. Myra? 90. 90. I'm, a, I'm in with 82. All right. Turning the card over. What percentage of the population of India is vegetarian? What did you say? 90. Uh, no, no. Uh, Jamma Pete, what did you say? 30. It's 38%. You're way closer than we are. Yeah, I mean, wow. Hindus mostly for the. I think Hindus mostly. Well, they don't eat beef, right? Because cows are sacred. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But it, it seemed like. Oh. I mean, it seemed like. Uh, I mean, too many people to be vegetarian. <laughs> okay. Thirty percent seems like a high number of vegetarians. Okay. All right. We're gonna. There's one more. Uh, it will be. We're going to do uh, we're going to do a question and then a snappy answer. Um, what size shoe would the Statue of Liberty wear? I don't think they sell that size. What size shoe? That's kind of a funny question. What size shoe? No, she wears uh, sandals. So, so what size sandal? <laughs> uh, a really big shoe. <laughs> wow. You got to say that in the Ed Sullivan voice. Yeah, <laughs> a really big shoe. She wears flip-flops. High heels. <laughs> wow, she trick question, she can't move her feet. 
Um, I don't know. I mean, it's a silly question. It's just... Uh, I'm going to say she wears size 200. <laughs> I'm going with 500. 500. 500. Yeah, I'm going with 600. 600. She doesn't wear shoes. She doesn't wear... <laughs> yeah, right. We know that. What size sandals? The hypothetical. Oh, okay. If she wore shoes, what size If she, she wore wear? shoes. Okay. And the answer is... Let me look up. Uh, we are. Oh, what, what was your answer, Jeremy B? 500. You're probably. People either went way over or way under, but you didn't were under. The actual shoe size, if there was such a thing, is 879. <laughs> I, I think I saw some eight hundreds. I think there were some eight hundreds. Yeah. There. Okay. All right. This is chat chat room. This is that was very funny. This is very funny. Um, okay. I'm just gonna get a drink of soda. So let's. Can we have two minutes of beer commercials? I imagine we can. Let's see. We've got about seven minutes of them left. So I should put DDR one in preview and do a take. Perfect. Has your day ever been like this? Time for relaxing. My working day is through, I'm in my slippers And watching TV too Now pour me a glass of national bohemian And I'll be satisfied Boy, so many brands I never heard of Wherever under the blue sky you are When you search for something wet, cold and delicious Open a can or bottle of National Bohemian Beer. So light, so refreshing. Nothing cools your thirst like National Bohemian. Wet, cold, and delicious. Yes, today is today. Men and women have found a wonderful way of life in our own cascades. They use a lot of artwork in these things. <laughs> Gumby said, this is an ad for white painted lines. All right, we're going to stop there. That's very funny. That's very funny. All right, we're going to do our Guinness Book of World Records. Uh, um... Okay, Charlie, no, don't start yet, Charlie. Guinness Book of World Records, Funky Food Edition. Most meatballs. I'll even show you the photo so you can see the size. Who uh, The record for most meatballs eaten in one minute. This is sort of the uh, Asian version of eating frankfurters at Nathan's. Most meatballs eaten in one minute and you can see the size they're not like Swedish they're little, meatballs yeah. little. They're, they're little I, I, I could I could probably eat a bunch of those <laughs> most meatballs eaten in one minute whoa six oh no no I'm just gonna say I got mine I, I think it's gonna be a lot uh, let's see, 38, 48, 63, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 
125. Oh my gosh, Dennis? I just said 27. Okay, I said 36. Jamma B? 80. 80, okay. Most meatballs eaten in one minute happened in Japan when 29 meatballs were eaten in one minute. Yeah, must, they must be rich. Myra, Myra does that sometimes here. <laughs> in one minute. <laughs> During the Gizwiz. That's, that's, that's like 60 another. minutes. No. <laughs> the, uh, no, that. Oh, okay. Raven said I said 30. All right. You, only, yeah, only 29. It seems. No. Okay. Let's do a snappy answer and then we'll do a few match games. Uh, okay. The person who, oh, didn't bother answering this book. I bought this book used online. Okay. All right, so the scene is a cop with a gun standing outside a prison. Oh, you're showing the answer. Oh, no, no. That, oh, oh, that's right. Sorry. I'm just saying that the person, <laughs> the person who bought the book usually fills out their answer. Okay, trying to break out of prison? Cop is coming around the corner, and we see the prisoner coming out of a hole under the prison wall. Charlie, it's not time yet. You have at least a good five minutes. Thank you. Okay. I'm, uh, um, are you trying to break out? No, I'm breaking in. No, I'm tunneling my way in. No, I'm trying to get back in. Uh, no, I'm weeding the garden. Nah, just out for a stroll. No, I found Waldo. No, I'm coming uh, in to see the Gizwiz. Uh, I'm a gopher on my way to a costume party. Oh, that's very funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to break in, genius. My toilet is clogged and I really have to go. No, I'm unclogging the sewer. No, I'm having a mud bath. Uh, I'm getting ready to go to a barbecue. Uh, nobody swapped clothes with me. No, I'm just feeding a hole in my soul. Oh, my God. <laughs> Uh, no, we're just rehearsing a prison break. I'm drafting architectural drawings. No, I'm adding a rec room to my cell. I'm blocking the hole so the heat doesn't get out. I'm making a delivery. No, I'm trying to break into show business. No, I'm hunting for moles. No, I'm the new plumber. <clears throat> uh, Poco says, no, it's Mother's Day and I got to go home. Uh, yes, uh, but I decided I don't like it out here. Yes, but I'll be back for the great food. No, I was kind of trying to walk out, but you wouldn't let me. No, just sightseeing, breaking in, digging my new outhouse. No, I'm just chilling my stuff. That's deep. No, I better run. Doing research for a movie. Uh, the light's better out here. I ordered pizza. Um, I'm just running down this long hallway to sell tulips. And we'll end with, no, I just bought this slimming shirt at the gift shop. Okay. Uh, so Al said, um, cop says you're trying to break out. The, the villain says, no. I heard so many wonderful things about this place. I'm trying to break in. There's a lot of matches there. No, just testing the security system. And no, I'm a rare giant striped mole. All right, now we're going to do a few match game. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, this is one of the or one of the early questions when <laughs> there was no filth involved. Mary was a terrible blank. Mary was a terrible blank. Uh, I'm going to put this on speaker so... Uh, lover... Lie, kisser, housekeeper, that's good. Loser, sh sheep herder? Oh, keeper of lambs, that's very funny. That's, oh, lamb herder, oh, lamb keeper. 
winner, drag queen stage name, Mary, uh, tap dancer, Churd Chama, Curd Chama, match game player. This is a pretty, oh, do we have Alex? Oh, we do have Alex. Oh, we do have Alex. Oh, we'll start with Alex. Uh, Alex, Mary was a terrible lamb keeper. You got a lot of matches. Jamma B, Mary was a terrible camera person. Oh, Mary was just a terrible person. I forgot to write camera. Uh, okay. okay. Oh, no, no, that was wrong. Um, there you go. Okay. Mary was a terrible liar. I got some matches. Myra said, oh, <laughs> Mary was a terrible virgin. <laughs> and, I like that. Uh, Dennis said, a terrible looking person, woman. Okay. Uh, bum, bum. No, Charlie, not yet. A few more times. Um, and we're doing another one of these very mild ones and very difficult. John and Mary had a home in the blank. John and Mary had a home in the blank. I, I can only think of two answers. This is why my scam got canceled. <laughs> and I saved it by telling Goodson, we have to stop doing these questions, even though I was writing these questions and come up with something different. Um, in the desert, in my heart, in the range or on the range. Wow, I got one match. Uh, Dennis, John and Mary had a home in the... Am I spilling it? Spelling is getting so bad. Is that the we Oh, clouds? yeah, no, that's wrong. John and Mary had a home in the clouds. Very esoteric. Mm -hmm. Myra? But wrong. <laughs> John and Mary had a home in state prison. Uh, more sensible. John and Mary had a home in the country. Uh, Jamma B, John and Mary had a home in... The Burbs. Mm. That, that's, that's, that's a good match. Alex, John and Mary had a home in the Catskills. That's good. Uh, okay. Uh, my cats don't have many skills. Uh, um, <laughs> Frank the Fast Farmer said, I'm the fastest Farmer in the West. I drop seeds with one hand, water them with the other hand, make holes in the ground with my blank. <laughs> Fast Freddy said, I'm the fastest farmer ever. I drop seeds with one hand, water them with my other hand, make a hole in the ground with my blank. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, okay, let's see if anybody... Uh, uh, uh. Uh, I got some matches. Wooden leg, third leg. Elbow, what else? Musket. With my high heels. With an AI machine with a poking stick. <laughs> I make holes on the ground with a Nathan's wiener. <laughs> a John Deere hole extractor. High heels was good, says Redacted. Uh, I make holes on the ground with a one-legged stool. Uh, okay, Jamma B, uh, faster farmer in the West. Drop seeds with one hand, water them with the other hand, make holes on the ground with my mind. Wow. Mm. Uh, Myra, make holes in the ground with my big toe. A lot of matches. I couldn't think of anything. Uh, okay. 
<laughs> Dennis passed. Uh, Myra and I matched. Toe. And Alex. No. You got matches. And Jamma B, did we do you? Oh, we did. Oh, we did. <laughs> uh, then, uh, oh, mind. That's right. Okay. It slipped my mind. Class said, some women are lucky. The man built the Taj Mahal for the woman he loved. All my husband did was build me a blank house. Some women are lucky in love. A man built the, built the Taj Mahal for his wife. All my husband built for me is a blank house. Charlie, one more and then you, okay? Calm down, Charlie. Oh, a brick twit house, a poo shed, a ranch house. That's pretty good. A doll house is a very good answer. A uh, cat house, flop house, haunted house, bird house, dog house, jail house, a crack house. <laughs> Uh, okay, we'll start with me. Some women are lucky in love. The Taj Mahal was built by a man for the woman he loved. All my husband built for me is a dog house. Martron just said the same thing. Dennis said... Oh, Dennis got matches too. Built an outhouse. Charlie, one more question and then you. Myra said, oh, that's not so bad. Uh, built me a Barbie dream house. Alex, you said all he built for me was a blank house, a brick house. We'll match that with the Twit brick house. And Jamma B, you said a cat house. You got some matches too. Uh, uh, um, um, okay. Oh. You know you're really hung over when the sound of a blank hitting the floor drives you crazy. You know you're really hung over when the sound of a blank hitting the floor drives you crazy. Oh, this is it. We should get a lot of matches. This should be a lot of matches. And it's not going to be a lot of match. I can't believe it. You know you're really hung over if the sound of blank hitting the ground drives you crazy. No, I thought for sure. Thank you, Mike B. Finally. Okay, we'll start with Alex. Alex. You know you're hungover if the sound of a blank hitting the floor drives you crazy. Mm. An olive on a toothpick. Okay. Jamma B, the sound of a roof? I mean, if, the, if I heard the floor, the roof hitting the floor, it would drive me crazy. Oh, it's supposed to be tiny little... Let me look up here. An eyelash. There's a perfect answer, Mr. Dave. An eyelash. I put the sound of a feather hitting the floor. And finally, I got a match. Myra said... <laughs> you know you're hung over when the sound of your head hitting the floor. I think that's the winner. Yeah, that is good. And Dennis said... Oh. The sound of a snowflake hitting the floor drives you crazy. Okay. Uh, the roof is easier ladies to hear when it hits the floor. You hear that more. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the dog, the fan, the, the dog who's so crazy. Hang on, Charlie. Hang on. Charlie, come on. Turn around this way so I can pick you up. 
Okay. Okay. Charlie the dog. Mr. Wags a lot. Let's see that. Oh, there. In the corner of the screen. So Wags a lot. Ladies and gentlemen. So Wags a lot. Yeah. Okay. There, there it goes. Oh, as long as you're talking, your tail is wagging. Oh, okay. Oh, Charlie. Look at this. Look at this boy. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna climb up here now. Okay. Let me look around. <laughs> Where's this audience? Where is this audience you speak of? I don't see anybody out there. <laughs> hang on, hang on, buddy. Easy, Charlie. Oh. oh, chat room. This is very fun. You guys are great fun. George, thank you so much for uh, your constant contributions that this adding the facts at the end is a real plus so this has been oh, uh, Chad and I doing the show on this Thursday and then we're going to do a couple of Wednesday shows for the Giz Whiz you've been watching regular old-fashioned Giz Fizz the show is a Mark Goodson Bill Todman Dick D. Bartolo Dennis Wonderlin Myra Joyce, Jamma B, Alex Gumpel, Beatmaster, Scooter X, Becky, Redacted, Loquacious, Dwindle, Geek Wannabe, Gumby, Superu, Black Rock, oh my god, <laughs> ZX, Travis MC, D Claire, Magoo, Chicken Head, Jim Tez, Ranger Rick, Toad Sloth Paco, Rintaro, Stooge, Titus, Merce Angel, Adam24, and Roberto Hellman Production. Remember, it's supposed to be by Turtle Wax. It's not for turtles anymore. Thank you. Okay, chat room. Alex, good seeing you. What's this? Where's the show made up and points don't matter? Thank you, Alex. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you, Dick. Thank you. Never say, oh, I never, you're right. I never say I never say George Davis. I have to put you on that list. But I thanked him individually at the beginning of the thanks. Thank you, George. Um, individually, exactly. Okay, see you next week. Bye bye. Bye. And with that, it's time for oh, there's Alex in the corner. Bye, Alex. It's time for reruns. Here's the tech guy. <laughs>